when it first happened, I was on the my God, why can't people take a joke program? Right. Or why can't people even understand the joke? I think that was my immediate reaction. Now, I didn't say anything in particular about it early just because I didn't want to be that guy. And the guy I didn't want to be is the white guy who tells the black guy to just get over it. Right. And that's what I felt like a lot of people we're doing with Asians with regard to the cancel cold bear situation. I think a lot of people were just telling them to get over it without paying attention to the situation or what's going on. Right. So I saw an interview that had been conducted with the Twitter activist who had gotten this started and she basically admitted to hijacking this whole thing. Right. Like she jumped on the cancel cold bear thing to make a larger point, which is a larger point that I, I mean, I think there's something to which is the tendency of white liberals to decry one form of racism while indulging in another. The issue is that that's not what happened here with Colbert. Like, that's it. That's not what happened here. Now, what I also think seemed to be at play is the fact that people generally speak and feel like they can say whatever they damn well please about Asians and that there are no consequences. And I've said this many times, that people are far too comfortable with the things that they say about Asians. And I can understand how somebody might be a little quick on the draw based on the way that people just have no regard or respect for the feelings of Asian people when it comes time to making those jokes. So if people decided that this is the time, damn it, that they didn't want to be involved in the joke, I mean, I am reluctant to tell them that they are wrong for that. I just don't want to be that guy. Um, That being said, the joke wasn't about Asians. I mean, the joke transparently and obviously was not about agents. It wasn't. So I have a hard time believing that a lot of the people who were truly upset by this were actually upset because I can't believe they're all that stupid. I just can't. It's just not possible. And I think that it was pretty clear after the situation was explained that the joke wasn't about Asians. And after it's pointed out that it was an allusion to something that had been done on television, it wasn't about Asians. And people still wanted to be mad. Like, after the fact, people still wanted to be mad. That part is where I thought that this was ultimately disingenuous. I just want to know how it is that we're going to call out this racism, though. Because what wound up happening there is that once people came down on Colbert, because Colbert is so popular among so many liberals, that the conservatives then wound up jumping on Colbert about it um, because it was an opportunity. And this probably would have happened no matter what side of the aisle this thing had played out on. It both would have gone. I mean, that those, both of those things probably would not have. I mean, I don't know. I thought it was largely stupid. That being said, lesson to be learned from this. Don't delete the tweet. No matter what you do, do not delete the tweet. Unless the tweet is just obvious and terribly out of line. Don't delete the tweet. Send some more tweets to cover that one up if you got to. Don't delete the tweet, though. Because the second that you delete the tweet, you're admitting some level of guilt. Even if it's just that I want to make it go away, deleting the tweet ain't going to make it go away. Don't delete the tweet. Never delete the tweet. They deleted the tweet. Don't delete the tweet. Do not do it. Do not. And that's where I think the Comedy Central got themselves in trouble with that one. But fundamentally and ultimately, it was actually a pretty funny joke. Um, it was not conveyed well on the medium that is Twitter, but it was pretty funny. And my man here saying, just apologize in the next tweet. No, no, no. Don't apologize. Yo, you got to let some of this stuff go through. This is a tweet through a situation. There was nothing to apologize for. They knew they didn't do anything wrong. If they wanted to say they could express themselves more clearly, I guess that's a different situation, but they knew they didn't do anything wrong. And it was made abundantly clear very early on that they didn't do anything wrong. They didn't do anything wrong, Right. Somebody hijacked the situation and a whole lot of other people went along with it. And then there's just a bunch of people who are frustrated with white people laughing at them, understandably, by the way. And then they jumped on and then decided to ride that out even further. 